So why did we spend a week talking about learning? <laughs> well, so that I could figure out over the video camera, of course. But seriously, because learning is the one thing, the one aspect of the definition that is your sole responsibility. You alone control how you learn, when you learn, what you learn. Nobody else is going to influence that. Nobody else is going to have any visibility into your learning process. This is all on you. And if you decide that you're not going to learn, you may succeed for a while. You may be very effective using the skills, the behaviors that you find come naturally, that are comfortable. You can be very successful doing that. But eventually, if you keep taking bigger challenges, new challenges, different challenges, you will reach a point where your behaviors, your preferences no longer work. And then you will fail. I know, I've seen it over and over again. I've seen it in people who are extraordinarily successful, who have thousands of employees, who run multi-million dollar organizations. And I've seen it happen at the worst times, in the middle of a new operation, in the middle of a new activity. Um, I watch things come apart because all of a sudden, the behaviors that worked for someone no longer have enough effectiveness to meet a new challenge. And the person cannot change. They can't recognize that their behaviors are failing them. And in that moment, things come apart. Learning is critical. There's a reason why it's the first part of the definition. And there's a reason why it's also the hardest, the least appreciated part of the definition. We're going to talk about a lot of other things in these videos. But I started with learning because learning is where you personally can make a difference in your own success. Everything else out there has other influences. The environment affects your vision and the resources you have available to you affect your relationships. Learning is entirely on you. There is nothing out there that can limit your ability to learn.